Hello everybody, this is Ali from the Art School of SFA and today I'm going to teach you guys how to um, write Arabic. Um, now, Arabic calligraphy um, in our first example is going to be um, a little bit different because what we're going to do is we're going to write English but we're going to be using shapes and visual elements from Arabic. Now, when I start doing calligraphy on um, simple white paper which doesn't have lines I have to draw a grid um, if my lettering is more uniform uniform meaning um, it's consistent in size now some Arabic fonts are not uh, consistent but the approach that I'm taking here is um, one in which I'm using more um, uniform shapes and lines my grid is helping me um, draw these uh, shapes and it, something else that it's helping me do is it's also giving me some perspective because one of the things that happens when you're um, writing is that you can sometimes lose track of how much room you have. It's a fairly common problem um, when you're doing calligraphy to either have um, too much space or too little space. So the grid helps me there. Now, in Arabic calligraphy, there's a lot of long vertical lines, and these lines have very sharp tips. So what I'm doing is I'm using um, more uniform rectangular shapes for the vertical lines, and I'm putting pointy triangles on the top because that's the aesthetic that um, the Arabic language has. Now, um, when you're writing um, in the style that I'm writing, in which... I'm basically writing English, but in a way that makes it look like Arabic, you kind of have to pick and choose and um, pick and choose what letters or what shapes you want to add. And you can make things look pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Remember, you're not trying to make something that is very easy to read. You're trying to make something that is interesting to look at and um, allows a person to kind of spend some time, understand what it is um, that you're trying to show them. So. It's kind of, it's a little bit challenging to see what it is that I'm reading, and I'm not even going to say what it is. I actually want you guys to tell me what it is. Um, so what that does is it allows you to um, be a little bit more creative. Now, I used color pencils for mine, but um, you can use markers or ink uh, for yours. Um, I also used some aesthetics that do not work in English language. For example, the dots, the three dots in the middle are um, a part of the Arabic language, but they are not a part of the English language. But I only added them because I think they look kind of cool. At the end, I went in with a, a marker just to kind of refine my shapes because the color pencil that I had was just the worst. But um, once I added the markers, it actually made um, shading in a little bit easier because my shapes were more defined. I have a knack for not cleaning up my eraser shavings, and I apologize that you have to see those disgusting eraser shavings on that paper, but um, they will not be there at the end. Okay. Um, as I'm drawing, I'm still keeping some form of the grid with me, um, and then when I'm done, I erase it, and that's what it looked like. All right, now um, for my second drawing, what I'm going to show you guys is how to write a name in Arabic. My name is an Arabic name, so it's a little bit easier for me than uh, maybe some of you, but you can use Google to find out how to write your name in Arabic, and it should give you a pretty good um, version of it. Now, I'm using a, a slightly different font here. Uh, my previous font was a little bit more blocky, which is common in the Arabic language, but this one is more um, traditional. Um, and in traditional Arabic font, um, what you have is um, your loops are going to be a little bit thicker um, in the middle. You're still going to have very long vertical lines. Um, in this aesthetic and um, when your lettering ends you want to end it um, in a pointy shape so as you can see the loops 
are all uh, fairly pointy, but they're thicker um, in the middle. Now in this one, I didn't really use a grid because um, all the letterings um, in this font are different sizes and um, the grid doesn't really um, help me in this case. So um, if you're, you know, if you want to make something more uniform, each one of them is going to have, uh, is going to give you its own set of challenges. Obviously, um, when you're doing this, you're going to be writing um, a completely different language, but, um, you know, it's, it's a fun little experience. Now at the end of each calligraphy, I usually just clean it up and um, this is what it looked like. All right, now it's your turn.